Yo, it's your boy, Katropic Air. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace! Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a How to Do a Fire Cape on a Max Pure. I am Katropic Care, your host. I'm just letting you know right now that we are going to have a wild, wild cave fight on this account. Rule number one, if you don't know the distance, pull out your expo. Rule number two, make sure your overhead prayers are always on. In some instances during the cave fight, I take them off just because I know this cave very, very well. And I know how to get the bosses and the monsters stuck behind walls and objects and certain things. I'm just showing you right now when you're holding a blowpipe, make sure it's on rapid. Make sure that you are ready to go check everything. Alright, we're now in the cave. I just want to show you my markings on the floor here. As soon as you enter, this is where you're going to be. Make sure you guys put the markers exactly how I have them. To get the one in the middle that I'm going to right now, you just want to count seven, including the tile that you're standing on, and mark that tile that is considered the helicopter tile that you're going to use in the later rounds. Real quick, I'm just going to show you how to get this melee NPC stuck behind the wall. Make sure that the melee NPC is around the wall. Pray melee, go around, and then just continue to hit the boss, take your melee prey off, and now you got the boss stuck. In the event that you don't know, now you know. In this instance, I have two NPCs attacking me at once. My objective here is to get one of them blocked, and then focus on the other, okay? So when you're getting attacked by two NPCs, try to get one blocked by the wall or by another monster, and then focus on the one that's doing damage or making you use your overhead prayers. Different scenarios, different angles, different positioning. Key thing is just try to get attacked by one NPC at a time. At wave 31 and further, you're going to have this big mini Jad spawn. He's going to be hitting you with mage, so make sure that you guys are praying mage when you're fighting this boss. Now in this instance, I'm going to be showing you how to pray flick. So all I'm doing is I'm looking at the tail the entire time. When the tail goes up, the prayer goes down. When the tail goes up, the prayer goes down, okay? Make sure that you time this properly, otherwise you're gonna get hit and dealt damage, massive damage. So make sure that if you're gonna do it this way, if you're gonna consume your supplies, make sure that you're timing it properly and not taking damage while you're doing it. All right, in this instance, I just wanna go over a few things. I'm getting attacked by two NPCs at the same time, similar to the other uh, clip that I put in this video. I just wanna let you guys know that it's okay to take damage and see here by the helicopter, exactly where that square is. Because on the other side in the far distance, as you're going to see in the corner there, there is a meteor. You do not want to aggro that meteor and get it involved with everything that's going on. Even though it seems like I could get away with the melee NPC getting stuck behind this mini jad, you still don't want to take the risk in the event it doesn't or something happens or whatever, Gagex comes for you. So... If you want to play it safe, just make sure that you're always at that helicopter spot, that middle point that you put on the floor there. If anything happens, make sure you go to your safety there. Helicopter is the way to go. Alright, in this instance, I just want to cover camera angles. It's very, very crucial that you get your monster stuck behind walls or other NPCs before they attack you. Another key part about this is my monsters are labeled with the blue around it. In order to do that, you want to go to your Runelight plugins and you want to look for NPC indicators and you want to make sure that you put it under NPC highlight and type in the NPC that you want in there in order to have this happen in game where your NPCs have these blue lines around it to indicate that they're there. So for me, it's really good to use this from far distance objects coming in. Everybody always talks about this wave, wave 60, you know, when you have the double rangers and the mini jag coming for you. It's very simple. All you're going to do is block one of the rangers coming in immediately. And then once the other one comes in close, as you're seeing, you just focus your damage on that one in order to focus on just the one NPC in front of you. Welcome to Wave 62. We have the orange mini Jad and we also have the red one that I already killed that will spawn as well. They're both majors, so make sure you're praying mage. You want to focus the red one, then kill the orange one. What's really cool about the orange one is it shows you exactly where Jad's going to spawn. As you see, Jad's going to spawn in that area. 
Now that we're on to the big fight with Jad, the key thing you want to know was when the paws go up, pray mage. When the paws go down, it's pray range. When you have killed Jad about halfway, you're going to have his little minion healers come and try to heal Jad. The key part here with the peer is you want to make sure that you attack each and every single one of his healers and make sure that they aggro on you. If you need to, position yourself in order to get all the healers on you and then start making your way to the safe spot. As you see, we're just moving away from Jad into the safe spot, but something I really want to point out is make sure you have your camera angled to Jad to know what the last attack was before you got out of range with Jad. A lot of people will pull away from Jad, not pay attention to his last attack, and then end up dying if the prayer was wrong. Now that you're in the safe spot away from Jad, you want to just kill the little healers. When you kill all the healers, go back to Jad and finish Jad. If you don't want to finish Jad, you can literally sit in this corner right now, as I know that Jad is now poisoned from my blowpipe, and I could just wait it out. Legends never die when the world is calling you. And now I have a fire cape. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you need any help with anything, all the links will be down in the description. Make sure you message me privately. If you need anything or drop a comment, let me know. And I will make sure I answer it.